Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Vplay. And in today's video, I'm going to show you three of the best builds of the SR25 that you can make, which is a budget to the meta build. So I will show you each of these category and how you can go ahead and save money from the budget and make the best in slot meta build as well. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So this is the SR25 budget build in which I have attached the different attachments in order to make it very versatile and I have used this gun as this is a rifle gun which is useful in close range and long range as well. So the attachments that I have attached onto the gun helps me in, uh, in combat of close range and long range as well. So I will show you exactly what are the parts I have used in order to make this gun more effective. So the basic suppressed build will have a CAC folding iron sights from Peacekeeper level 3 for $30. Then I have attached the CAC QDC flash hider from Peacekeeper level 2 for $50 and attached a suppressor on it which is from Peacekeeper level 3 for $315 as well. Next I have attached the 2.5 inch M-lock rail for the X400 flashlight which is also available from Peacekeeper level 2 for $85. Then I've used the AFG M-Lock 4 grip from Peacekeeper level 3 for $72. Then I've used the Elcan Spectre DR4 scope from the flea market for 25 to 30,000 rubles. Then I've attached the Delta Point Reflex Sight Plus Mount from Peacekeeper level 2 for a total of $180. And I've used the MPR45 angled mount for Peacekeeper level 2. And I've used the Hogue Rubber Pistol Grip from Peacekeeper Level 3 for $27. For the stock, I've used the F93 Pro stock which is already available. You don't need to attach anything else in order to attach the stock onto the gun. And to reduce the ergonomics even further, I've used the SR25 Ambidextrous Charging Handle from Peacekeeper Level 3. So the total stats on the build is Recoil 142, Ergonomics 68. And the total cost on the build is 165,000 rubles. Alternately, you can use a 20 inch barrel for the SR25 from Peacekeeper level 3 and use a Fortress red muzzle brake in order to reduce the recoil. And for the stock, you can use the Voltor Emot stock from Peacekeeper level 3. And in order to attach that, you will need the cold buffer tube, which is the default part onto the gun. So total stats on the build on this particular build will be recoil 110, ergonomic 61 and the total cost on the build will be same which is 165,000 rubles but will have a better recoil stat and an ergonomic stat. The second build of the SR25 is mostly used as a sniper rifle and very less for close range. That's why I have made the ergonomics onto the gun very effective and I've used a long range scope as well. In my opinion, this is one of the best long range sniper rifles that I've come across in terms of ergonomics and recoil as well. It is not the best in slot, but it is the one of the most effective guns that I've used in long range and close range as well. So I would highly recommend to use this build. So let's go ahead and have a look at the parts that I've used in order to make this gun. This is a pure ergonomic sniper build. So in order to start with the build, you need a 20 inch barrel from SR25 Peacekeeper level 3 for $365. Then you can attach the Fortress Red Muzzle Brake from the flea market for 15 to 20,000 rubles. You will need to attach the 2.5 plus 4.1 inch M-Lock rails onto the handguard. And you can attach the X400 flashlight and I've used the Fortress Shift 4 grip from Peacekeeper level 4. And for the pistol grip, I've used the best in slot, which is the HK PSG 1 style pistol grip from Mechanic Level 4 for 26,000 rubles. I've attached the SI Advanced Buffer Tube from Mechanic in order to reduce the recoil, uh, sorry, the ergonomics. Then I've used the PRS Gen 3 Black Stock from Peacekeeper Level 3 for only $120. Then I've used the EOTech Voodoo 1 to 6 scope, which is one of the best scopes in my opinion. In order to attach that onto the gun, I've used the JP30MM scope from uh, Jaeger level 3 and I've attached a delta point reflex sight onto it as well. 
and I've used the SR25 ambidextrous charging handle from Peacekeeper Level 3 similar to the one that I've used before. So the total stats on the build is recoil 110, ergonomics 82 and the total cost on the build is only 250,000 rubles. So alternately you can go ahead and attach a suppressor onto the gun as well in which uh, in this I've used the CAC QDC flash hider and the CAC QDC suppressor from Peacekeeper himself. The last and the final build is the meta build of the SR25 which I have made in order to make it very versatile and effective in close range and long range as well. This gun is one of the absolute best and the favorite of mine as this can kill PMCs or scab bosses really quickly as this uses the meta uh, bullets onto the gun as well which is the M61 M62 rounds. So this is the absolute favorite of mine so let's go ahead and have a look at the parts that I've used onto this gun. For the final build which is the pure recoil rapid fire build I've used the 20 inch barrel similar to the previous one. For the, uh, for, for the attachments I've used the Lantac blast mitigation device, the Lantac thread adapter and the Lantac dragon compensator uh, onto this gun in order to reduce the recoil even further. I've used the same 2.5 plus 4.1 inch M block rails for mechanic level 2 for 3800 rubles. Then I've attached the X400 flashlight plus laser and the Zenith RK1 foregrip from Skia level 3 for 17,000 rubles. Now, uh, for the pistol grip, I've used the Nora Arms Graal S pistol grip, which increases the ergonomics onto the gun. Then I've used the SI Advanced buffer tube from Mechanic Level 4. And for the stock, I've gone with the HK E1 stock from Peacekeeper Level 4 for only $100. For the scope, uh, this time I've used the Hammer Assault scope, which is a more versatile scope. And in this, I can attach the long range and I can attach a Delta Reflex sight as well which helps me with the close range combat as well. So in order to reduce the ergonomics onto the gun even further, I've used the same SR25 ampidextrous charging handle from Peacekeeper level 3. So the total stats on the build is recoil 78, ergonomics is 57 and the total cost on the build is only 260,000 rubles which is only 10,000 more from the previous build. So alternately you can go ahead and attach a wave suppressor onto the gun instead of the Lantac Dragon and you can use it, uh, attach it onto the gun using the wave muzzle brake from mechanic level 3 for only 9000 rubles as well. So I think this is one of the best guns that we can make of the SR25. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel as I come up with new guide videos every week. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, you can write them down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.